Lana Torrey joins us as she does in the middle Saturday of every month. And she has brought her friend, master kitchen designer and president of Custom Kitchens by Martin, Kim Martin. She is. She is that and more. Yeah, she why are you more? Why are you more? What's the difference what between... What makes the Martin Kitchen <laughs> Here's my spiel, and you guys are just going to be blown away by this. I tell every client that walks in my door, the reason you're coming to me is I've got 25 years of mistakes under my belt. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I like that. Accentuate of, the negative. That's yeah, <laughs> well, you know what? There's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. Kitchens are complicated. Um, you're inundated today by the internet, right? You can click on any HGTV show or even regular reality TV, Extreme Home Makeover, and you see so many different products. And you're like, I want that. I want that. doesn't mean you can have it. Mm -hmm. That's why you mentioned earlier in the show that the kids, the younger generation, is is getting that modern loft look in their homes here in Rochester. Because they're seeing it, exposed to it. They're completely exposed to things that we were never Mm-hmm. You know, we just went to grandma's house. Right, yeah, yeah. right. I'm sure you bun- once in a while bump into that negative person, and they're always like this, who say, you know, you can't, I can't do anything with my kitchen. Just what heard you, it a few minutes ago. What do you say to, <laughs> right on the break. What do you say to those losers? <laughs> uh, you know, a couple hours with Kim. Yeah. There's that old cliche where there's a will, there's a way. And you know what? Anything can be done. And what is this world about compromise? You know, it doesn't mean that you're going to get that kitchen that you see in the magazine in your space. But you can come close. Yep. You know? So when you design a kitchen, Kim, do you design the kitchen to the style of the home? Usually. I'm pretty big on that. I think the aesthetics of what you do in the kitchen has to marry the aesthetics of the home. Doesn't mean you can't bring your personality or your lifestyle in it, but I think it's very important. And you know why? Then it becomes classic and forever. It doesn't become uh-huh. trendy. It hmm. doesn't feel like you walked in a movie set and you'd be like, oh my gosh, this kitchen doesn't belong with this house. Mm. Oh, gotcha. So I think it's important. So you, you could have a whimsical flair to an old home with a little contemporary mm-hmm. flair, but I think you got to stay true to the bones of the house. Mm, okay, so you suggest that to I your clients. All the time. Okay. All the time. I so that they don't go haywire. That. That to lose the integrity of the home. Absolutely. Okay. But Absolutely. you can you can input a little fun or something different. Like if I wanted, I'm Italian. Maybe I want a pot filler. How many requests do you get for pot fillers? All the time. All right. All right. So here's the thing What's, about wait, pot fillers. Yeah. Go ahead. Really go. Please. 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 No, Steve. I might be on the same page as Steve. You still have to lift the pot to the sink to empty it. The yes. pot filler is only filling it. Oh, okay. It's yeah, the faucet it's over the stove. It's only good one stuff. way. The pot filler. It, yeah, it's yeah. a one way ticket. Can I steal that line? I love it. No. Have you ever been in a situation where you get the job done and you go, ooh, I don't like the way it came out? <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, it was your Does 50, that ever, I mean, you talk about your 25 years of. Yes, yes. I always blame the client for that, not me. <laughs> So you're lost. <laughs> so you're only as good as your client, right? <laughs> That's a good way to put it. No. That's a good way. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm sure, you know, the, I don't know a lot about the value of homes, but I'm sure that a smart, hip, beautiful kitchen is the spotlight item in every house. Always. What do you hear all the time? The two most important rooms in the house are the kitchens and the bathroom. Yep. Kitchens and bathrooms. Mm-hmm. So for resale, is that what's going to sell your house? Usually. You know, but sometimes it could hurt you, too, if you don't have the right character design element, if you don't hit the buyer's needs. Yeah. Think about it in that aspect. So. Hi, how are you guys doing with the glass? I see the glass uh, tiles a lot now. Glass tile is still holding still, very strong. Uh, trendy, it, though. Trendy. Okay. Trendy. So you, you know, as a designer, I'm already tired of it. And okay. they're done that. All right. So that's something to keep in mind as you're picking products. What's yeah. going to last the test of time? So you're back to oh. stone? Stone. Stone, stone is classic. Uh, but it's got to be yeah, certain stone because some of it can be trendy also, correct or no? Yes, okay. the color, the style, mm-hmm. you know, the uh, application of how you design yeah, it. Yeah, the shapes. Because, uh, you know, the choices are endless. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's yeah. some slates and stuff that I know were built and put in fireplaces and foyers in the yep. 50s. And it's and you can tell it's a 50s house right away. Correct, because it's a dated slate. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep. Most people try to put that high gloss varnish on them. Yeah. So now it's a slippery slate. Yeah, now it's real. <laughs> yep. but, but if someone wants yeah. to keep that 50s feel in their house, can you hip up the house to still look like the 50s? Absolutely. In fact, yeah. that's quite a big trend now. Think about the 50s diners looks. That's pretty popular. I love oh. it myself. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a punch of color. Color, you know, it's that bright red. Yeah, yes. you know, well, with the stainless, stainless steel black splashes, yeah. plastic fruit. 
How could you change a fireplace? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plastic. <laughs> Plastic canisters. I mean, we all had that. My yeah. husband made me throw that out. He said, that is so tacky. Now it's all oh, back, it's right? All back. <laughs> yeah, I got that bowl of could've, plastic fruit. Oh, could have sold it in the showroom. It back. Just, yeah. You have to be a keeper, Kim. I, uh, <laughs> what what were you going to ask over there? Oh, it's the, the 50s slate. My parents have a fireplace. It's beautiful, nice, you know, and it, but it's all that slate layered yes. stone. Ledge rock, ledge. Yes. That's it. And I don't like it. I mean, what, how would you change that? It's one of those things where I... Oh, that's no. all back now. It's back. Not to change me. the surrounding Huge. around the stone. Maybe mm-hmm. that's the problem, not the stone. No, it's just that stone. I walk right yeah, in. I go, oh. Some people. One. Yeah, I'm going to. Well, you know, some people have actually painted it white in homes. Yes. And I hate yes. that even more. That's it's worse. Like, oh, oh. That, that's a really tacky band aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really I is. Think that's a, yeah, that's great. But, you know what? My advice uh, to you would be then, bottom line, is if you really don't oh, like it, change it. Burn it down and start over. Change it. I love it. Change it. All right. You know, you know you're not going to force something if you're not happy with it. The bottom line is when you do renovations, you have to love it. Yeah. Not me. Right. You. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But it is back. Everybody's it going back. Room. Really? It's huge. Wow. Is it kind of that gray-green color? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, speaking yeah. of green, I'm going to oh. polarize the room okay. here. Pat and, uh, and Alex, you know where I'm going. Uh-oh. What is new in green in the kitchen? Thank you, Steve. That is always my token oh, question. Hi. I appreciate it. And, and he over here could Steve, care less. Right. It's Steve's going to bring that question up. He's just trying to cause a fight. I'm rubbing <laughs> off on him. All right. You know what? It is more um, the younger generation that's bringing that question up. So that's hmm. something about all of us behind these mics. <laughs> I think it's yeah. because we are so inundated with it because it's, it, it has become trendy and we are so inundated with, you know, the bottom line is that the younger generation are the ones that are going to be taking over. It's true. So you want to leave the world a little better than you found it. And so, that's so well, they're brainwashed. Yes, are we talking repurpose? <laughs> well, here's green in my opinion. I think green means to me all natural. So basically what you're getting rid of is any chemical-based product. Oh. Okay? So a lot so, of cabinetry that was made out of press hmm. board or particle board is put together with formaldehyde and chemicals. Oh. And that releases you know, chemicals in the air, almost like a poison. So these brainwashed kids are buying homes and they're coming to you to remodel and right. and they're saying, I want green living stuff. Correct, correct. Oh, they're high. <laughs> uh, green <laughs> is... a safe product. <laughs> yes, it is. It's all natural. It comes from the environment. Clearly, green is the new oak. <laughs> green is the new oak. Well, I won't go that far. When we come back, Pat is going to share... Are you a Bills fan there, Kim? Football used fan? to be. Yeah, well... <laughs> Kim has uh, uh, Kim is going to join us because uh, Pat's been making Bills predictions all, all season right. long. The king of football over here. We'll see what he has to say about the uh, the Bills and the Dolphins, and also look back to his prediction last week against San Diego as we get into our last segment of Property Source Radio till ten o'clock at Sports Radio nine fifty ESPN.